Scientists have figured out that several large predatory fish species, including great white sharks, are periodically diving deeper than previously thought, and we don't really know why. Welcome back to Tea of the Sea, and when most people think of large predatory fish like whale sharks, great white sharks, swordfish, tuna, a lot of people associate them with being at the surface, like out in the open ocean, chasing balls of fish like we see on Blue Planet. But this new study, which looked at the movement patterns of 12 large predatory fish, including whale sharks, swordfish, tuna, and great white sharks, found that periodically these fish were diving much deeper than previously thought down into the twilight and mid night zones. For those of you who don't know, the twilight zone is a depth level of the ocean starting roughly 200 meters below the surface going down to about a thousand meters below the surface, with the midnight zone being a thousand to three thousand meters below the surface. They are named the twilight and midnight zone respectively because little to no light can get to those extreme depths. In the midnight zone, it is completely 100% pitch black. According to the study, great white sharks were diving down to just a little over 1,100 meters, whale sharks diving down to a little over 1,900 meters, and swordfish swimming all the way down to 2,000 meters on occasion. Those depths are pretty significant. Those are far deeper than the depths that they usually spend their time in, especially while they're looking for food. The fact that all of these species are periodically making these really deep diving trips down to the midnight and twilight zones, something's going on there. We just don't know what it is. Obviously though, with very few exceptions, life doesn't just do something on a habitual basis without there being a good reason for it. Notably, the researchers found a correlation between these deep dives and the location of the deep scattering layer. For those of you who don't know, the deep scattering layer, or DSL, is a layer of the ocean that is so densely packed with marine organisms that it sometimes appears on sonar screens as the ocean floor. That's right, there is so much marine life in the form of fish, cephalopods, and other little critters at this specific depth range that sonar sometimes can't see through it and so it looks like it's the seafloor. Now obviously since the DSL is made up of the biomass of living critters, it moves and changes not only throughout the year, but throughout the day. During the daytime, the DSL is usually between 300 to 500 meters, but at night, these creatures move to the surface to find their own food. The correlation between the DSL and the large predatory fish suggests that these larger fish are feeding on the DSL itself, but in a lot of cases, those big predatory fish were diving far deeper than the DSL generally inhabits and they were doing it for reasons that aren't entirely known. There's good evidence for species in some situations to dive deep for foraging purposes, but there are situations during those dives where it's clearly not for foraging reasons. Or if it is, it represents a totally different kind of predator-prey interaction or just a completely different food source that we don't know about. If it is a new food source, then this is clearly an overlooked critical habitat and it's likely that in the future if we do discover there's a totally untapped amount of biomass down there there's going to be a sort of gold rush from fishing industries to get it whatever the case it's clear that these large predatory fish are diving to these extreme depths for some reason and we need to do a lot more studies to try to figure out why they keep visiting the deep blue